mystery. Mm, that's, that's how we begin weather. Rob Ellis, untangle the, the mystery of, of the <laughs> forecast. It's going to be nice out, huh? It is. It's going to be really nice. The, the issue is the wind that we're still mm -hmm. concerned about coming off of the lake. It's not that it's necessarily the strongest, but we are still seeing that steady flow of northeast winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting at times to 30 miles per hour. It was building the waves earlier in the day, but look at the humidity. It's on the lower side. The dew points are into the 40s and 50s. That makes it feel so much crisper and cooler, especially when your temperatures are into the 60s, 70s and 80s. 80s, and that's where we expect them to stay really for the next several days or so. You'll see we've got clear skies for the most part looking pretty good. Temperatures on the map a little bit warmer right along the immediate lake shore. Once you get away from that wind off of the lake, the temperatures are able to cool down just a little bit more quickly. You see some 50s even popping up uh, there. We see a couple of them showing up on the map. There's a 60 for Aurora, but I think you're going to be into the 50s pretty soon. I've got 59. This is not one size fits all. This is going to be a nice average number. Some of you will stay about five degrees warmer than that. Some of you may be able to get down into the low to mid 50s for tonight. I certainly think it's possible. Forecast for tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, nice conditions. The temperatures will warm up quickly. We've got zero percent across the board for our precipitation chances. The one thing in this graphic that has me a little bit concerned for tomorrow is the northeast wind at 10 to 15. That's not much higher than where it was today. Also, that northeast wind right off of the lake helps to build those waves. It's got a nice fetch across the lake, a good distance for those waves to help build because of the uh, wind. And then screen shading is kind of the maybe three to five foot range. It'll ease up a little bit the first half of the day tomorrow, but as the winds get churning again during the afternoon, I suspect more of those green colors to come back as those waves could top five feet yet again. Another concern, especially as we head into Friday afternoon and people are maybe trying to go to the beach. I want you to be aware of that. Here's the best news it should clear up once we get into Saturday. I think things are going to improve for sure. Looking at the seven day forecast, I expect that we are going to see those temperatures go into the 70s and then eventually reach 80 degrees degrees by the time we get into Sunday and Monday and we'll stay there. The rain chance that we have in there, the one rain chance that I put on the graphic, that's on Monday. We'll call it a few scattered storms. Otherwise, overnight lows a little bit chilly as well. Into yeah. the 50s, crisp and cool. Gosh, it's kind of sweatshirty. A little bit, a All little right. bit. Thank you, Rob. Yeah.